What's up, wild ones? One of the biggest things that we have in our hearts and our souls as creators is this question. Am I congruent? Am I aligned? Am I doing what I'm here to do? Am I doing it at the level that I'm being called to? Are my people getting it? Like the, the deep question, right? Like, am I doing it the way that the divine put it in me? Am I aligned with that, my, my truest self? And then from that space can creep in a whole bunch of stuff if we're questioning whether or not or if, if we question it and the answer is like, I don't know, I'm not sure, uh, then a whole lot of stuff can creep in and it's it comes in the form of doubt. It comes in the form of fear. It comes in the form of distraction. It comes in the form of making fights with your partner or your family or your clients or like your mastermind buddies or whatever it is just, to, just so that you don't have to feel the discomfort of uncertainty the discomfort of feeling like oh my god what if i actually am being incongruent what if i am out of alignment and then from that space it can feel like it's almost impossible right like it can feel almost impossible to shift into the space of knowingness once again and so what do we do like where do we go from here like where do we go from here we've got to be willing to feel more and to think less to experience experience the discomfort along with the stuff that we're like oh that's great that that feels amazing it's like the difference between um paying lip service to faith and actually living it so faith when everything is amazing and you're like oh uh, this is exactly how i want it to go and everything is falling into place and it's really easy to have faith then right and when things aren't going the way that you saw them going or things seem like they're completely falling apart or you're in the drama or there's chaos or there's trauma or sorrow or your old woundings come back up and try to take you over where is the faith that like that that's when we get to like it's not that we're like yay i want the i want the hard times also and also where is your faith then and so this is the space like when we're feeling oh my god oh my god oh my god am i congruent is this what you would have of me like what what's next i don't know the, the i don't knows creep in allow yourself to slow down and i don't mean slow down in the sense that you just stop doing everything and you sit on a meditation pillow for the next year and you say that i was you know i was doing my work I was just doing my work by sitting there. I don't mean that. I mean, yeah, get on your meditation pillow every freaking day, right? Or on the ground or whatever that looks like for you or go for your run or whatever. Go box and like whatever it is for you. But also ask yourself the questions and then get a journal and write out what comes through. So I move, right? I do my practice. I do sexual energy work. I do movement work. And then I write it out. Like I write my soul onto a page so that it's not stuck in me as stagnant energy, as the I don't knows, as uncertainty, as, you know, shiny object syndrome, whatever, whatever gets you into that, like, ah, right, whatever the fix is that you that allows you to not feel with or or food or over sexing or over sexing. <laughs> How about sex that is not aligned with your highest good? How about that? Or uh, drugs or alcohol, whatever your thing is, so that you don't have to feel right, write it out write it out move your body move the energy and then write it out so grab whatever feels good for you in your in, in your practicing incorporating sexual energy work so whether that is jade egg um, crystal dildos whether you are just using oils whether you are doing energetic sexual energy work whether you're doing energy plus physical touch energy work like whatever it is for you and if you have questions of course just just ask whatever it is for you allow that to become so ingrained such 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 an intrinsic part of your day and your your essencing and the way that you are and the way that you move through your life that whenever you're getting into the space of like okay wait am i am i aligned you have the tools you have the rituals you have the ceremonies you already have your go-to's that you can drop back into 
whenever the questions arise, you're like, okay, mm, yep, I know how to drop back into my own alignment. I know, I know some tools, I've got the tools, I've got mentors, I've got mastermind buddies, I've got whatever it is that I need, therapists, whatever it is, and I can drop back in. And so look at your toolbox, look at what you have already like gathered, look at what you're not using, like if you have all the tools and you're not doing them, and why is that? Journal that out, move, get into your body and journal that out, like okay, if I know all the things and I know what works for me and it's worked in the past and I'm still not doing it, and before you say, oh yeah, I just, I don't know, I want you to feel. And then maybe the question is, okay, what do I not want to feel here? Because if I do all my ritual work and I do all these things and I do my movement practices and I do my sexual energy work and I do all the things and I drop into the deepest space of God connection and consciousness like within me, I'm going to feel more. And so if I'm not doing the work, what is it that I'm avoiding feeling? What am I trying to not shift into by not doing the work? So see how that resonates drop me any questions below um because i'd love to hear from you guys and then if this does speak to you then of course please hit that little subscribe button turn on the bell for notifications and share this out and shoot me a comment i would really 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 really, really love to hear what questions come up for you around this and what tools you already have in your toolbox and whether or not you're actually using them so yeah I will see you guys next week. I love you. And in the meantime, if you miss me, because I miss you guys, you know, so maybe want to hang out a little bit more, then come hang out with me over on Insta, because I'm over there every day, dropping videos, IGTV, in my stories, all that stuff. So Instagram, at Nika Carly. It's below in the description. All that jazz. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, and as always, I mean, duh, as always, here's to your untaming. <laughs> Bye, wild one.